I'm going to show you how to customize a storyboard template using Pages. So first I'm going to launch Pages, and in the template chooser, if you go down under word processing, miscellaneous, there's actually a storyboard template that Apple provides. I will choose it by clicking the choose button, or you could just double click it. Now by default, it gives six different frames or shots per page. But you can change that. Let's say you want each one to be a little bigger, then it's really easy to do so. The first thing I'm going to do is delete all of the frames and frame information except for one. Now, unfortunately, you can't just click and drag to select multiple objects. So you got to be careful and do it individually. So what I'm going to do now is adjust the size of this image and I'm going to adjust some of the information that's provided here so that it fits my needs a little bit better. Also this client spot etc is not going to be useful for me as a student so I can actually just click this entire frame and delete it. Also this up here is called a header and I believe yep there's a footer down here too. You can remove those by clicking inspector the document browser and unchecking headers and footers and now notice they're not there anymore so that gives us a little more space to work with so I'm gonna go ahead bring this up and then I'm gonna grab one of these handles on the corner and drag it down so that it's almost halfway across the screen but not quite next I'm going to move the text box up so it nestles right underneath the photo frame and then I'm going to adjust the text box so that it is the same width as the frame itself and I'm going to use the alignment guides to make sure that it's exactly centered. These Latin words don't really do much for me as a student or a teacher. So I'm actually going to put um, in the place of the Latin words exactly what I want to describe here. So for shot one, I'm going to just put shot type. Extreme close up, cut away, long shot, etc. For scene, I'm going to put describe what is happening because really that's what is most important to me as a filmer of my scene. Now unfortunately I can't click and drag and highlight both of these objects at the same time like you can in Keynote. So instead I have to click one, hold down command, and click the other one. Now I can just copy and paste. Shortcut is command C, and then shortcut to paste is command V. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and pull it across I'm going to go ahead and put it until this edge is right on the 10, which gives a one inch margin. And then over here we can see we have a one inch margin. Now I'm going to highlight all four by just holding down command and clicking on each one. Copy, paste, and then I'm going to move this one down here. Okay, now I have a four up storyboard exactly customized the way I want it. So now if I want to save it as a template, you go file, save as template. Then you can give it a name, so I'm going to call it a 4-up storyboard. Click save. And now if I quit out of pages, I don't have to save that because now under the template chooser, if I go to my templates, I have the 4-up storyboard to use um, whenever I want in the future. So that's how to create a customized template in pages and I hope you students find this very useful and design a template exactly how it will be beneficial to you in the way that you make your storyboards. Thanks for watching.